Hello, it's Paul with Logix Magazine. We help you go from self-taught beginner to automation professional. And the way we're going to help you do that today is we're going to help you discover the three ways to simulate a PLC program. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. Option number one is really emulate software. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but if you've been working with Rockwell software, or even the Siemens software, um, they each each platform has their own simulation software. To speak about the Rockwell software, there is the RS Logix 500 and the RS Logix 5000 emulate software. So essentially, what you do using the 5000 as an example is there is a very specific software that that you purchase and you uh, start up and then you can create a all of your io right here and very easily by just installing uh, um, your io modules in this case let's assume that this is a, a digital um, A digital module I'll put it in that slot and now I have my digital IO and I will configure this with the uh, RS Logix 5000 software basically what I'll do is create a program let's uh, go offline here and I'll literally create a program that uses the emulate software as the uh, as the controller okay so we'll just go right down here and there's our controller and uh we'll give it a quick name right here okay we got it picked out simulate the software we'll just click it right there and we'll be able to pick the version um our chassis our slot in our case we chose slot 2 right here no particular protection and we'll finish it off all right we'll finish setting it up so now we have a a our logix program that is will communicate with this uh, our logix 5000 emulate software all right so it really is that simple we'll just we can open up our our RS Logix uh, gateway here, classic RS, uh, RS Lynx classic gateway, and uh, you'll see that we have our our RS Logix emulate software here. Um, so it sees it. All right. Now I didn't really want to spend a lot of time on this today. I just wanted to share with you the couple of different ways to simulate your software. Um, if you've never worked with RS Logix 5000 soft, uh, Emulet software, when you get a copy of it, it is a great tool to use. But it is a little expensive, um, as is most things Rockwell. But it is a very handy um, software. So the next option that you will have, let's go ahead and shut some of this down. The next option that you will have is known as inhibiting the modules, all right? So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to close down some of these files that I have open and we're going to open up a another file here. Well, actually what we'll do is we'll go, uh, we will go online with a controller that we have. Uh, so let's now what you see is we are online, but the important part is right down here in our our expansion I.O. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about simulating your I.O. All right. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to go offline. Well, let's while we're online, let's go ahead and take a look at our our uh, hardware. You'll notice that there is a, a pause uh, indication there. It looks like two bars, two small bars that show up. Now I'm online, all right, and that's very important uh, to realize that the processor, the processor has accepted uh, my connection, right, my communication. What I do is, in order to inhibit this module, 
I'll tell you how to do it and then why you want to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is when, well, what happens is when I'm online, I click this, I check this bar right here on the connection, all right? Inhibit module. So what happens is it gets installed, but the processor doesn't look for it. Now, why is that important? One, I'm able to get online with, with this hardware installed um, and the EDS, uh, the EDS files for anything that I need, but I can inhibit it so that the processor doesn't look for it, doesn't reject it because I, it doesn't, you would have to have the, the specific hardware installed and for it to see it. But if I inhibit it, you do not have to have it physically installed and it will just bypass that, that hardware. Now you may ask, okay, why, how does that actually help me? All right. Well, what that does do is that puts our tags in our uh, in our controller, all right? And we can use that device in a simulated mode, e mode even if we don't have the physical hardware. The tags are what 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 is actually the most important issue, the most important point, because as I as I actuate and work with this hardware um, throughout the program, um, I'm still going to be able to put a one and a zero into that tag, irrespective of the fact that I don't have the hardware. All right, and that's what's very important, is that I can simulate having the hardware, even though I don't, because I have the tags, if that makes sense. So this is a module defined um, well, the, these tags are module defined. So once they are installed, the tags get installed to my controller tags. Um, and I can use those tags in a simulated mode. I hope that makes sense. So I, again, I do not have the hardware. I put it in inhibit. So it doesn't look for the hardware, but I'm the in tags, the tags are installed. And by doing that, um, I'm able to simulate the um, hardware even though I don't have it. So let's uh, let's kind of try and take a look at an example here. So here I've got two. So if I go to my sensors, this is one of my guys' programs. So um, I have okay. So uh, card two. Uh, let's let's see where he's at he writes his he's from uh mexico so he writes his tags a little bit differently uh, but let's see where we're at all right card two inputs you'll notice that i have my tags here right okay so we have a, a eight all right so i can come right here and i can put a one in that right there and that will trans transfer uh, transmit throughout the entire program as though my input uh my card is there my input has went high went true and then the rest of the program will act, will act as though that's a real physical uh interaction to the controller really 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 essentially that simple all right so i can simulate this um with a real uh, controller even though i don't have any of this this hardware here all i do is put it put it uh in, in an inhibit mode and i will be able to work with my program this is a great tool when you're working through your uh debugging and you're in auto cycle i can just work down through here and go back and forth to my my inputs and outputs and simulate that so if I'm in my sensors, I I can come in and I have the tag, right? So a local to input data four, and I can toggle that bit, right? Now when I go to the um, I go to the to monitor. Let's see, monitor it. Uh, well, let's go back. When I go to that tag. Uh, to monitor it, okay, that tag will be high 
because I toggled it. All right. And that's the benefit there is I can go down through here and simulate all of these tags for hardware I don't have as though that hardware is true. So it's a great uh, tool to be able to use. Um, you will need a, a controller, a processor, but you don't need all the additional hardware. And that's what's important. All right. So that's that's a great uh, way to simulate your program. OK, there's a third there's a third uh, option, and that third option is um, usually it's uh, one option that some uh, HMI platforms let you use. What they do is they give you um, the option, uh, some, some of them do, give you the option to simulate your HMI. So let's take a look at that. And the way we're going to take a look at that is, let's take Seymour. There's a couple of different options here. So this is Seymour Automation Direct Seymour um, software, right? And that Seymour software is gives you some simulation options. Now it does not let you simulate the connection between your HMI and your PLC. This is strictly simulating the HMI, but you can build an entire HMI program and simulate that program without the processor, and that's a very great uh, tool. So. I will just set the set this up and I can simulate this software um, to be on or off and the HMI will react accordingly okay so um, this is a great tool uh, when you're using this particular software to test your your program the HMI itself all right now in addition uh, on, uh, there are a couple of other software programs. I believe um, uh, there are, there are, well, I know that there's a couple different ones. Uh, Redline, I believe, has the HMI that will connect to your PLC. Um, and, and it simulates you don't need the, hard, the HMI hardware. Um, you have that option. Uh, I believe it's with Redlines and... Uh, but the one of the other options is with Rockwell's uh, factory talk. So you can communicate, set up your communication between your uh, HMI and your PLC and test and communicate between the two of them without ever actually having the HMI, physical HMI. Now you will need, if, well, if you use the 5000 emulate or the 500 emulate and you have the factory talk, you don't need the processor and you don't need the HMI and you can communicate between the two of them. If you have the factory talk and RSI 5000, you can simulate without having the hardware if you're using emulate. Or if you do have the processor, you can use the processor and the factory talk without the physical HMI. So those are the ways in general that you can uh, simulate your program. I hope this has been helpful for you. If it is, Go ahead and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Love to help you. All right.